come down to the supermarket at Lidl to do some shopping and we thought we'd show you around to see what it's like, what the prices are like of food shopping in Portugal. We're frugal travellers and we do love a bargain. And we found this is, tends to be one of the cheaper ones in Portugal. You've got Continent, which is a little bit dearer. Pinga Doce, which is a very good one, which is kind of a good medium in the way. But this is the one we come to often, Lidl. We'll take you around, we'll show you what the food is, uh, what the prices are like. Eggs and this looks a bit lovely. Colourful sign. Let's go get a bag in. So we've come into Lidl to do a bit of shopping. And Mandy's found broccoli for 119 a kilo. Yep, That's pretty yep. good, eh? Normally, much cheaper in the market, but today Lidl has provided courgettes for 139 a kilo. Green peppers, 159 a kilo. Red peppers, 159 a kilo. Tomatoes, 169 a kilo. In the market, we got them for 80 cents. So, one of the good things about the meats here is they have 30 cent discounts sometimes. Got pork for Rino, 30% discount, 118 for 220 grams, and 400 grams of Dequino's Lobo for 181. Brilliant. We've got beef mints, 538 kilo, pork mints, 490 kilo. Special 179 for one of these pizzas. These are really quite good. These are. We buy these a lot. Don't remember. That we do. <laughs> Ham 169 for 225 grams. Pretty good. Bacon 7.95 kilo. These brown cheeses seem to be really popular here. They're really nice. The kind of cheese we normally get. 490 kilo. These are the local cheeses. Lots of local cheeses, different flavours. Really tasty. Camembert is amazing, we've got it before. 159 for the camembert. Mandy, do you want the camembert? Yeah, that one. Mineral water with gas, 39 cents. Very good. So we've just come back from our shopping. We went to Pinga Dossi and we went to Lidl and we wanted to get a week's worth of shopping almost. And this is what we got for 52 euros in total. Now at Pinga Dossi, they do some very good Orange sticker special, so worth looking out for them. 45 cents for broccoli, so we got two of those. Meat, again, 25% special. Two euros 24 for um, pork uh, cutlets, which are, you can get two meals each out of those, so that's good. And 2.24 for pork bifanas, they're also very good. 
We've got eggs and special. Eggs are one euro 39, I think, for a dozen eggs. Pretty reasonable. Superbock beer. Now this is the cheapest way to buy um, your beer in Portugal. One litre bottles are much cheaper than everything else. Superbock was on special this time for 1.49 for a litre. So we've got three of those. The coffee, this is very good coffee. Delta Cafe that we bought. Mandy, can you remember it's what that is? 2.99 down from 5.49. 2.99 for that much coffee, brilliant. And we treated ourselves to, whoa, fancy Gallo um, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. That was three euros? Yeah, down from 6.50, I think. Very good quality olive oil, that is. Then um, the salad, 71 cents on special, 40% off. Tomatoes are on special at 149. Yeah, Cheers. and we do love this chocolate. Like, it's home brand chocolate, Pinga Dossi, but it's really good. The milk and the dark, 49 cents. 58. 58 cents, brilliant. This Pinga Dossi cheese, again, home brand, the brie. Uh, 119 down from 129. 119 for the cheese. And then we've got some nice ham, fiamba de pa, and uh, cured ham as well, which is both very good. Yeah, I think the cured ham was on special, wasn't it? Like 199 down from about 250. Brilliant. Also, we got a cooked, entire cooked chicken. This is 529 a kilo, and it cost 3 euro 64 for an entire chicken. And that will be a huge meal for us. And they also give you uh, barbecue sauce with lemon and spicy sauce as well. They're really good, the sauces that go with them. Olive... Um, no, garlic sauce. That? Garlic <laughs> sauce, sorry. Alio. <laughs> garlic sauce. Really nice. Pinga dosi garlic sauce. And... Crunchy peanut butter. Yum. One of Mandy's favourites. 189. Yeah. Yep. And barbecue sauce. It was on special, 129 from 199. Mandy really likes these. This is they something you find them. in Portugal. What are they called? They're lupin seeds, apparently. Yeah, and they go very salty, nice with a beer, 72 cents. We'll probably be having some of them later. <laughs> and also, Mandy? Chickpeas, they're on special, 49 cents down from 59. 49 cents for chickpeas. And, of course, you've got to have your chippies. They were 89 Nine. cents each for Yeah, I think one's um, like ham. Yeah. And one's plain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 200 grams. Uh, and, and then, then we went to Lidl. Okay, so that was 38 euros for all of that. Very good. And then we went to Lidl because there's some things there that we really like. The carrots were on special. 49 euro cents for a kilo of carrots. Brilliant. The hummus. We love this hummus. 149 each. Each, yeah. And then cheese. I think this is that was 220. Oh, 220. I remember that one. And 99 cents, you two chorizo. Very good chorizo. This yogurt is it's delicious, incredible. great natural yogurt. One kilo of yogurt for 215. 215. And then frozen mixed veg. <laughs> it's, it's so easy. Um, 149. 149. This bread at Lidl is really good. 58 cents for a loaf of bread. Yeah, 59 cents. Yep. We'll have that now, a bit of a late lunch with um, yep. peanut butter and butter. And then the pan integral bread, which is... I think it's 89 cents, but yep. we always have a couple of those in the freezer. So, around 52 euros for all of this, which is almost a week's worth of food once we've had got other things to go with it, but it's pretty good value for money. We like the shopping here in Portugal. Very impressed with it. We're here at the Mercado Municipal, currently on the ground floor, Piso Zero. Wow, I can't believe we've been here for five weeks and this is the first time we've come to the market. It's amazing. We've heard from other people where we're staying that it's definitely the cheapest place to come for fruit and veg cheap and really good quality as well so looking forward to checking that out I was just thinking wow they've got sunbeds but no of course not the lemon stalls that haven't been set up at the moment it's just after Christmas and the new year so not everyone's back I'd say there's so much over that way is butchers etc butchers on the side it's great the market is a great place to come for really good value fruit and vegetables. We went to the place behind us 
and we got loads of goodies didn't we yeah avocados 280 a kilo we got um nice lemons from another lady for 60 cents a kilo brilliant we got red peppers for 150 a kilo really happy with the fruit and veg <laughs> here definitely i think tomatoes are only 90 cents as well brilliant we'll be coming back We've just come back from shopping in the local market and we wanted to show you how good the fruit and vegetables are from markets in Portugal. Portugal produces some very good fresh produce and it tends to be a lot cheaper there than it is in all the supermarkets. It's always good to buy fresh and local so we like to go down there. You, you have to be a little bit careful when you're walking around the prices because they can change a bit so it's worth doing a bit of a tour around, checking out the prices and then going to your favourite ones. Sorry about the noise of the fridge, by the way, it's a bit loud, so I'll speak up a bit. I'll show you what produce we've got here. So we bought chirimoya or custard apples or amona, I think they're called in Portuguese, I can't quite remember. Love these, they're fresh and delicious, tasty. 170 a kilo, uh, very good. Then we bought Roma tomatoes. These are also tasty, 60 cents a kilo. Oh, and they're at 80 cents a kilo. 80 cents a kilo, that sorry is. about that. Mandy's got the photographic memory more than me. Avocado is a really tasty and delicious. These ones are quite small actually, aren't they? But these are really good. These are... I think were they 190, 170, 190. 190 a kilo, okay. Um, Peppers, capsicum, these are 170 a kilo. Love the citrus fruits. Uh, so lemons, 60 cents a kilo, and these are brilliant. So we have these all the time in our drinks, chop them up and put them in water. Fresh lemon and in water, delicious. There. Lettuce was 50 cents for one lettuce. That's very good. Cucumber was 170 70 a kilo. Very good cucumber. Oranges, again, the citrus fruit, really good here. Oranges were 60 cents a kilo, so brilliant. We're eating a lot of oranges at the moment. We're getting a lot of vitamin C. And last but not least, the um, courgette were 190 a kilo, yeah. I believe. So, also known as zucchini. Zucchini for all those who prefer the Italian rather than the French word. But yeah. Very good fruit and veg shop there. All that lot came to eight euros fifty and will keep us healthy for the next week or so. One more thing I have to add is the amazing olives that you can get in Portugal. These ones we get from a little old lady down by Playa de Rocha beachfront. That's still over there is where we go to buy our olives. They're absolutely delicious. She's such a lovely little old lady. And they are four euros for a kilo and she marinates them in what is it Mandy oh, um garlic and oregano oregano and I'm not too sure of the other yeah, one yeah we're trying to work it out <laughs> in the Portuguese but totally natural she says you know they're from her garden or whatever and but Portugal produces fantastic olives so this is one of our favorite things so thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please leave some comments down below. We'd really like to know what you think about whether the prices are good or not and what are the Portuguese foods that are worth us buying because I'm sure there's plenty that we haven't tried yet. Um, please subscribe for more and like this video and we'll see you next time.